House condemns Israel boycott over liberal objections. The House passed a resolution Tuesday condemning a global boycott movement against Israel, with the lopsided vote coming over the objections of some progressives who claim the measure violates their First Amendment rights. The controversial resolution U which passed the House via 398-17 vote with five lawmakers voting present U comes after a behind-the-scenes battle between moderate and liberal Democrats over the push to publicly condemn the boycott, divestment and sanctions movement, or BDS. The vote had the potential to expose an ideological divide within the caucus, pitting progressives against moderates even after Democrats united against President Donald Trump's racist tweets against four minority congresswomen. BDS doesn't seek social justice. It seeks a world if there is a chance for Congress to stand up and to point out that supporting a movement that doesn't envision a two-state solution and that seeks to delegitimize the state of Israel is nothing that will advance peace and should be called out for what it is, Deutsch said in an interview later. Moderates had the resolution would receive a House floor vote before the August recess. And some, like, but some liberal lawmakers you including high-profile progressives like Republic, Ilhan Omar D. We should condemn in the strongest terms, violence that perpetuates the occupation, whether it is perpetuated by Israel, Hamas, or individuals. But if we are going to, Omar Yu who was this spring for comments that were criticized as anti-Semitic, Yu was immediately confronted by combative GOP Republic. Lee Zeldin RN, the Minnesota Democrat introduced her own legislation in response affirming that all Americans have the right to participate in boycotts in pursuit of civil and human rights. Omar's resolution, privately, some senior Democrats had worried the anti-BDS resolution would reignite a messy spat between moderates and progressives that played out publicly over the last several weeks. Leaders of the various interest groups in the caucus released a rare joint statement acknowledging the dispute and vowing to move forward. But privately launched with that in mind, some lawmakers urged House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer DMD to bring the resolution. Progressive leaders took it a step further, Democrats to scrap a planned vote on the resolution. But Democratic Le progressives had demanded that the anti-BDS bill be paired with a far less contentious proposal that reaffirms that any U.S. plan for peace in the Middle East must include and center on a two-state solution. Democrats are in talks to bring the two-state resolution U from Republic. Alan Lowenthal D Kyle Cheney contributed to this story. Yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park, pot, pot.